in the world. If you'd open your eyes, look at the newspapers, think is there a rap star, that Kanye guy, Kanye. Kanye getting healed, and you, you know, for our, you know, you know, the last few months, they've had positive ABC articles, positive stories about Catholic priests, nice stories. They've had stories about Pentecostals, nice stories. Uh, something's happening in the spirit world. You can't probably always see it, but something's happening. But this world needs Jesus. Brisbane needs Jesus. Australia needs Jesus. And you know, maybe someone invited you here. You know, your greatest need isn't physical healing. Your greatest need is Jesus. I mean, to know Jesus. Some people know Jesus as like a historical figure or a little baby on Christmas in a little manger. But this same Jesus is the one that's doing these miracles. Because Jesus said, in my name, they should lay hands on the sick. And it's his power. The Bible says he was, you know, he was, he was tortured and he was nailed to a cross. But he rose again from the dead. He is alive. Your greatest need is Jesus. So right now, I'm going to say a very, very simple prayer. Very simple prayer. You know, there's a verse I always, I love this verse in Revelation 3.20, where Jesus said, behold, there's that word again, behold, pay attention. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. It's talking about the door of our hearts. You know, God wants you, wants your heart. He wants you. You're important to him. He wants you. And he stands and he knocks, which means he's trying to get your attention. The Holy Spirit draws us to God, to truth. And even during the meeting, I'm getting the Holy Spirit is talking to people, drawing people. A little voice said, you know, that time you got back to church, that time you did this, at that time. You know, the Holy Spirit draws us to truth and to light. So he knocks and, he, and Jesus said, if anybody would hear my voice, if you hear the voice of God, hear the voice of the Holy Spirit today, and if you would open that door, the door of your heart, he said, I'll come into you. I find it amazing, amazing that the Lord, he made the universe, want to come and live in us by his spirit. I find that astounding, it's amazing. That God would entrust this wonderful thing, wonderful salvation to humans. He visit us and he's powerful, he does miracles. You know, Jesus makes me look good. It's not me, it's Jesus. The power of the Holy Ghost that comes, but he wants you. But the good news is Jesus was very clear about the gospel that there's a heaven and there's a hell. You know, eternity is real. But Jesus said, if you find me, you find life. And he's talking about eternal life. So I'm going to say a very simple prayer. It's a simple prayer to open your heart to Jesus and allow him to come. And the Bible says he'll come. He gives eternal life. But he gives us some sin. And he breaks things off our lives. Addictions and fears and torments. So I want to invite you right now to say a simple prayer with me. To open your heart to Jesus. Let's all bow our heads and close our eyes. I want to invite you. Just to repeat this simple prayer right now. Let's all say this together out loud. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I open the door of my heart to you today. I open the door of my heart to you today. Please come into my life. Please come into my life. Forgive me for my sins. Forgive me for my sins. I thank you, Lord, you died on the cross for me. Thank you, Lord, you died on the cross for me. And thank you, Jesus, you rose again from the dead. Thank you, Jesus, you rose again from the dead. And thank you for hearing my prayer today. Thank you for hearing my prayer today. Thank you for eternal life. Thank you for eternal life. Thank you, Jesus, that you are my healer. Thank you, Jesus, that you are my healer. Amen. Amen. It's a very simple prayer. In fact, there's many ways you can say that. It really is, Jesus, here I am. Here I am. I want to ask you a question. Is anyone here? You, you said that prayer.